Uh, now then, what to do when your playing days are over? It's a question that creeps up on all the players at some stage. Terry O'Connor here is a firm believer that you should have a trade behind you for the days when the time comes to hang up your boots. He is a qualified joiner. <laughs> so how on earth, you might ask, did he manage to get a job with us? Believe me, many of us are asking exactly that question. But we sent him along to the college where he learnt joinery, Warrington Collegiate, where his contemporaries are planning for their future. Growing up, my dad always said you need to think about a career outside of rugby league, just in case you don't make it. It was at that point I enrolled on a joinery course here at Warrington Collegiate back in 1988. I'm back 25 years later to meet some of the current Super League stars who are following in the same footsteps. We went to the uh, Super League clubs uh, six months back to give them the opportunity to get the players involved. Uh, and the uptake has been, has been superb. We've got over 50 uh, Super League players now. Um, studying programs on a Wednesday afternoon with us. Do you start to, to panic as you get older in the game, thinking I need to do something with my free time? I don't think you start to panic. I think you just come a little bit more clued up that you know it ain't going to last forever, and you need to get something behind you. I've, luckily enough, I've had like, my mum and dad behind me, and they've, yeah. they've always said to me, make sure you get something behind you when you do finish, just in case. Because uh, please God, that nothing horrible happens. You could have a career, career-ending injury next week. I'm trying to bend some copper pipes. At the moment, it's not going too well. It's straight, this one. And then uh, I bent a couple in the bender. So is that what you want to do when you finish the game? Do you want to go into plumbing? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Uh, try and get a trade behind me. Because, uh, obviously, rugby don't last forever. And these good looks can't pave the way much no, longer. No, me, there won't pave the way for anything. <laughs> I'm going to put the lid on. Okay, uh, we'll fasten everything back up yeah. and we'll, uh, we're going to put it in. They're all going to leave with an accredited qualification, whether that's a, a, a award or a certificate within um, uh, accounting or business management or electrical and plumbing. And that's the first of, of a series of steps they can take to become uh, qualified in those fields. I've got another year to my level two, um, which will be like next September, I'll be qualified. And then I'm going to go on to my level three, which is like your gas and your, your solar panels and all your renewable energy, underfloor heating, things like that. So what are we going to do now? The scheme, which started in April, sees players attending their chosen course once a week until the end of July. It is part of a series of education and training programmes Warrington Collegiate is developing with the RFL. With League 13, we are trying to persuade the RFL to make it compulsory for all teams that from a set time that um, you get that off on, on any given day, I think, obviously. Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon would be ideal. I think most teams usually have Wednesdays off. To have a set thing where you know at that point in time that you can be off, you can you can pre-plan and you, you can know that you're available rather than one week attending a course and the next having to skip it. This club-wide approach to player education is something that former Super League star Tommy Martin feels is long overdue. In, in that time when we were professional athletes, we were told to rest up. Uh, I think it. I think we worked out that. As a rugby league professional, you work 17 hours a week. So when you're told to rest up, we, we thought that resting up was after training, go home and get on the couch for the afternoon. You never know when you're going to retire. Or whether you retire, whether you're going to be injured, whether you're going to be forced out. You know, the, the, the decision isn't yours. Hopefully everyone wants to retire on, on their own terms, but sometimes that can be taken out of your hands. I think it's something the RFL have, have addressed and we've um, got Andy Cole now, our, our player welfare manager. He, He's really pushed, pushed hard for us to do this and to get involved in it. I think for some of the young lads to see some of the more senior lads doing it as well, I think it makes it more appealing to them. I think the uptake at Wigan is probably half the squad now are doing something uh, at this college at the minute. I think that's what's impressed us most, is the commitment the players are, are, are given. Uh, yeah, there is a bit of banter in, in the lessons and, and they're having a bit of fun, but, but they are all really, really keen and focused on accepting this is something that's going to help them post-career. Fantastic, well done. Yeah. Really good, Dan. At the end of the programme, is there anyone that you're highlighting already that you're going to do the report saying, must try harder? Um, honestly, no. And if there was, I, I, I perhaps wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, because they're very big lads. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, mate, I've watched you now for, uh, for a couple of minutes and I think you need to pull your finger out a bit, actually. <laughs> Like I said, Jack, the fourth lesson, and he's coming, done us a test with cameras. What do you expect? I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one good thing that uh, nobody blew the place up 
Dave Allen's light bulb worked, and by the looks of things, nobody, <laughs> i.e. Louis, Louis McCarthy, Scarsburg, he didn't flood the place either. No, he didn't. Um, all the players who were there really buying into it, and um, it's a good initiative that's set up by Warrington Collegiate, and uh, you, you just like to see more players getting involved because... The game doesn't last forever. Trust me, I've seen so many players and I've talked about it on this show passionately mm. before. Um, you know you're not going to be playing for much longer than 35. If, if you get to 35, you get players who um, maybe get a contract, maybe not get the contract they're looking for the following year. And it's very sad, but there's a life outside of the game. And I, I think, I genuinely think that the better players will have a life outside of the game. They'll have an, inf uh, they'll have an interest in something else. And, Sean Briscoe said to me when I was there that day, he said, the best, the best um, advice I ever got, he said, was when I was watching Boots and All, and you actually said, and you asked the question saying, what's it like when you retire? He said, one month you get paid, the next month you don't, the next month you don't, and you never do again. Mm. And that is it, top and bottom. God love him, Sean Briscoe. I mean, he looks like he's had his nose trapped in Louis McCarthy's <laughs> car. Pipe bender, doesn't he? Good heavens above. But um, I think parenting is so important here because he was told by his dad, get a trade behind you in case it doesn't work out. That's Terry. Only because he didn't rate me. And <laughs> None of us did. <laughs> <laughs> and he's now a joiner and he's here. We won't go there. But you can see where I'm coming from, you know. Yeah, yeah. Parenting is so important. It is. It is important. And you, you've got to listen to the advice of your parents. And your qualifications are vital as well in these pathways. But uh, I found that fascinating as well, that people like Sean O'Loughlin and Yestin Harris and Paul Deacon are actually doing courses that help them with what they're doing now, which was about leadership and team skills. So, yes, you do need to plan for the, for the future, and that's very, very important, but also that you might find a course that's worthwhile for you now as well, and that's worth embracing as well. Mm. Qualifications is a big word. Have any of us, and you're a joiner, have any of us got, got qualifications to do uh, anything I, other than what we're doing now? I wanted to pick you up on that when you done the I'm actually a craftsman, Eddie. <laughs> um, <laughs> The, the, the college course yeah. at the minute has just been run at uh, Warrington Collegiate, so it's only the North West based clubs really that, that are doing this, and it's money from the European Social Fund, that's where the, the money's coming from. I'd love to see it across the board, everyone doing it. We saw uh, a number of years ago that uh, Kevin Sinfield, Jamie Jones Buchanan went to, to Leeds County, came out with a degree. The players need to do something and they need to take control of their own destiny. If they don't, trust me, it's a big shock as soon as you nail them boots to the floor. Well, even Steve-O is a qualified plumber. I know that from bitter experience. He came round to our house once and tried to fix a radiator. We sold the house. Uh, coming next, we'll be looking ahead to the live games you can enjoy with us this weekend. Witness Wigan is the Friday game, and the Vikings have set up a boot camp for their fans to get fit. And while on Monday, it's Salford Wakefield, and we meet Justin Poor, the Wildcats' gentle giant. See you in a couple of minutes.